Hello Unlimited Friends. Today I want you to leave this channel with a clear understanding of why sometimes it takes more time than others in order to manifest what you want. Hi, I'm Zara Mahoon from zmahoon.com and on this channel we discuss anything and everything that has to do with Law of Attraction so that we can apply it to our lives in a practical way. Okay, so today I want to talk to you about why things take time. Time is a buffer. Sometimes things can happen instantaneously and sometimes they take more time than others. So how can we speed things up? That's what we are here to understand. And before we understand that, we need to understand how energy works in giving us the push that we need in order to get to where we want to go. So I'm going to use an analogy. This is an analogy of two cars, a red car and a blue car. So the red car is your old stuff. It's your old beliefs, your old paradigm, your old results, the life that you're living. That's the red car. The new car is your law of attraction car. You've decided that you have to adopt this set of new beliefs that represent the blue car. You're going to adopt this set of beliefs because you think this is what's going to win the race for you. So here we are. The red car and the blue car both belong to you and they are in a race and you want this blue car to win. You want this blue card to win because you understand the power of using law of attraction. So as this race begins, you find that the blue car is going really, really slow and the red car is speeding forward and it's still spewing out the same old manifestations that you were getting before. You still don't have the relationship you want. You still don't have the money you want. You still still don't have the health that you want. So what's going on? I now believe in this law of attraction stuff and I want this car, the blue car that represents all my beliefs, my newly founded beliefs about law of attraction. I accept that my thoughts are important. I accept that law of attraction works. I accept that I need to think positively and I am thinking positively. So what's up, universe? Why is this blue car behaving like a tortoise? And why am I not getting the results that I want? I had this exact same question, but now I have the answer. So let me tell you, there is this thing called momentum or acceleration. Acceleration is the speed at which these two cars are going. Now, obviously, we know that the blue car doesn't have much momentum. The red car has momentum. And that is because you've been fueling the red car all this time, so many years. You've been fueling it. What is the fuel for these two vehicles? Well, it's your thought energy. It's your thought. It's your thought that fuels the cars. This red car has a reservoir full of fuel, whereas this blue car has an empty tank because you've only now started to put fuel in it. And it's a hit and a miss most days because sometimes you're positive and other times you don't even know, but you're now in the red car. You're still fueling that red car. So as we become more understanding of how law of attraction works, we start fueling this blue car a lot more. That's when it gains momentum. That's when it accelerates and goes forward. So just imagine this race, right? The red and the blue. At first, the red one is going really, really fast. So what do you have to do? There are a couple of things you have to do. First of all, you've got to take your foot off the accelerator. What does that mean? That means that you've got to stop thinking about what's going wrong. You've got to stop fueling the red car with all your complaints, with all your worry and anxiety. That is what puts fuel into this red car. So stop it. When you stop putting fuel in it, in the end, 
it'll run out of fuel and it will come to a stop. And now with the blue car, what you need to do is you need to pump that accelerator and you need to fuel it up. So all day, every day, you have to do the things that need to be done. Start with pre-paving your day, meditate, appreciate, offer gratitude, be nice to people, be nice to yourself. All of those things fuel the blue car and soon as you become mindful enough that you know that you're switching and you're now fueling the red car, stop. Stop and tell yourself, uh-uh, not doing that. Not doing that. I'm going to fuel the blue car because this is the one that I want to see win. And when you start doing that, oh my God, life is going to change so fast, you won't know what happened. And I can tell you from my own experience that one day I just woke up and sat up in bed in the morning and said, oh my God, this stuff works. I can't believe my life has changed. It was really a surprise that morning when I woke up. But I can tell you that in the beginning, I made a lot of mistakes. And the mistakes I made were that I did not know the difference between fueling the red car and the blue car. And that's what I want you to know. Because wanting something good to happen is not the same as thinking positively about it. When we are wanting something, we feel as if we're being positive about it. But if the vibration is not positive, it doesn't matter what words you're using because it's the vibration that acts as a magnet. And if the vibration is one of dissatisfaction, if the vibration is one of irritation, I'm irritated, why can't I get what I want? I'm frustrated, oh my God, why is everyone else succeeding and I'm not? Those are negative vibrations. If I'm jealous, why does that person have it and I don't have it? What makes them special? That jealousy is a negative vibration. Anger, I'm angry. I'm angry with my boss. I'm angry with my spouse. I'm angry with my neighbor. That's a negative vibration. Blame, it's because of them that things don't work. It's my parents, they are too controlling. It's my in-laws, they are not nice to me, right? Those are negative energies. And as long as we keep sending that negative energy um, out from our bodies, that negative energy fuels the red car. I just realized I'm wearing red. <laughs> okay, I'm not in the red car. I am very firmly in the blue car and have been thankfully, for a um, number of years now. Life is good and I want life to be good to you as well and for you. The one thing that I've learned from following Abraham Hicks and Law of Attraction in general is that we are not competing with each other. Nobody is competing. I am not in competition with anyone else out there because I create my own reality and I can manifest anything that I want because if I want it, the universe can find a way to bring it to me. And that is the secret because most of the time when we compare ourselves with others and we want things and then we tell ourselves all the reasons why we can't have them, that's when we're sending out that negative energy that keeps good things from happening. So I learned my lesson and maybe one day I'll share a couple of those stories with you where I actually made things so much worse that um, I almost lost everything. I lost my children, my home, everything. So anyway, that is a discussion that I'll share the learnings from that, from what happened. I'll share the learnings with you so that you can benefit. And I guess that's all I have for you today. I hope that makes sense. So as you go about your day, have this visual with you, a visual of a red car and a blue car. And keep reminding yourself which one 
you want to see cross the finish line? Which one has to win? And that takes me all the way back to what I always believe we should go, go back to is our core beliefs. Because if we keep our core beliefs front and center, we will always fuel the blue car. And what I mean by that is you look at your core beliefs and you look at the thought that you're thinking and you say, is this thought congruent with these beliefs that I want to hold? And if it's not congruent, what can I do to change this? So that's another video that I posted a while back. If you want to go and uh, watch it, I'm going to put the, ring, the link to it in the description. So I hope this is useful information. And if it is, I want you to leave a message for me saying blue car so that I know you got it. And uh, before you leave, remember to like and share if you think someone else will benefit from it and subscribe, hit that notification bell so that I can invite you back for more. That's it for me. Have a fabulous rest of the day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.